At one forward at seven feet tall will be Brad Sellers out of Ohio State. He'll wear number six. Charles Oakley from Virginia Union, 6'9 forward, averaging 15 a game. At center from Jacksonville, the veteran Otis Gilmore, 17th year. In the backcourt, John Paxson from Notre Dame, and a fabulous Michael Jordan out of University of North Carolina, averaging 31.9. The head coach is Doug Collins. Uh, the assistant coach is John Bach, Tex Winters of Phil Jackson, and the trainer, Mark File. And now we'll meet the Utah Jazz. A big sellout here tonight. A lot of ticket requests for Michael Jordan. You can bet on that. Everybody wants to see him. Kelly Trapuka out of Notre Dame. Ricky Green, the six-footer from Michigan, backup guy. The Golden Griff out of Louisville, Daryl Griffin. Griff averaging 13.4 off the bench. Earl T. Bailey of North Carolina State averaging 13.4. Backup center for University of Kentucky, Mel Turpin. Scurry, of course, injured, being introduced. Now we'll meet the starting lineup. Back to forward from Louisiana Tech, the mailman, Carl Malone. The mailman averaging 24.3 a game. Marcus Savaroni, defensive forward out of University of Virginia. And the NBA number one shot blocker, Mark Eaton from UCLA in his sixth year. Backcourt, John Stockton. He leads the Jazz in assists with 128 and steals with 26 and averages 11.8. He played collegially at Gonzaga and Bobby Hanson out of Iowa. And a head coach, Frank Layton. Assistant coaches are Jerry Sloan and Scott Layton. Out of trainer Don Magic Finger Sparks and his assistant Terry Clark. Somebody once said, uh, Hot Rod, he who does not uh, learn by history is lost. Somebody <laughs> said that. So, and if you look in, uh, at uh, what happened last year in particular, the uh, you can get a pretty good indication of how these two teams uh, have been matching up now. Uh, the Jazz uh, won both games last year by five points and by two points. That's a little bit more of my history lesson here. The Jazz averaged 95 points a game last year in the two games. The Bulls only uh, 91 and a half points. So uh, you don't see the uh, century mark hit here very often between these two teams. They play tough, tough defense. And I have Charles Oakley for Chicago who averages a bunch of rebounds a game. 219 he's pulled down. About 16, the, uh, about 16 a game. You bet. And he is tough. Virginia Union. So they tip it up and it goes out of bounds to Chicago. Last touch by the Jazz. Bill Sarr and Billy Oaks will call the action tonight as the Bulls put it in play to Michael Jordan. Rebound over to Malone on the left side. Carl holds it up. Whips it under to Hanson. Score it with a left hand. Bobby Hanson. Well, that ties it up at two and Malone gets the assist. And quickly Jordan down the alley. Dishes left side of Paxson for the open jumper and he scores it. They start doubling. And Jordan could throw it off like he did if he wants to. And not only a great score, but a great pass. John Paxson, they got Jordan open on the right side. They go to him. Here's Jordan. Fake Eaton drive by him. Can't reverse. He'll go out on the base left to Sellers for the jumper. No good. Eaton grabs the rebound, drops it, and Stockton picks it up. Oakley is out. Roney had it all alone. Ahead of Michael Jordan. Jordan drives right. Eaton very drops it underneath the Sellers, but he's picked off by Hanson. Stockton gets the assist. And Michael Jordan gets the ball. He's front court left. Jordan has the dribble left, takes the drive. Now one bounce to the right side angle, jumping off bounds. It's good. What a play. Michael well, Jordan. Hanson was on him. Stockton came over to help. He pumped while he was in the air. Chicago leads 8-6. Right. Straight away to Stock. Stockton veers left. Stock out on the left wing. Got it by John Paxley. Stockton puts it low to Malone. Across the middle. He's alone. Bank it up. Score it. Count it. He's fouled. Beautiful move. And Brad Sellers got him for the foul. His first, Chicago second, and Malone has four points. You know, you will see this, though, when a team, even though the two teams did meet during the uh, twice during the preseason, uh, Malone just showed a great move on Sellers, got by Sellers. But, you know, this happens when you don't, when you see a team only once or twice during a year, and you're not as used to them as when Western Conference playing Western Conference. And Malone hits the free throw, and he has five points. Al Malone and the Jazz take the lead, 9-8. They go to the zone trap defense. The ball into Paxson. Oh, John Paxson of Chicago. The Bulls hurry to the right side. Paxson in control. Right corner to Michael Jordan. Jordan all alone. Here's his jumper. Frozen rope. Goodbye. It's gone. Jordan second. Didn't go out after him because he knew that Jordan would drive on him the moment he took the step. Jazz has been out hustling Chicago but not converting. It was 10-9 Chicago. Stockton down the left side is bumped and fouled by John Fox. Malone posting up. They go low to Big Carl. Carl, big right, turn left. Ah! Pushes, turn right hand, blocked by Gilmore. Paxson's got it ahead to Jordan. Look out, Jordan. Keep it up, score it. Michael Jordan's third bucket. By Chicago leads 12-9. Tipped out, Averoni fights for it. He comes up with it. Good hustle by Marcus Averoni. Back to Stockton. The Jazz with a fresh 24 seconds on the shot clock. Stock to the angle left. 
12-9, Chicago with the lead. Malone sets the screen. Stock pick right to left. Leap the lane. Nice jumper. Good. Stockton, his first two of the game. Rod, it looks to me as if the Jazz about a step quicker than Chicago so far. Rod Hundley along with Dave Blackwell. We're back at the Salt Palace. 6.53 left first quarter. Our Chicago leads Utah 14-11. Well, here's uh, Michael and uh, Clyde Drexler of the Trailblazers said about Jordan. He said if Michael had the same supporting cast as Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, he would win as often as they do. If you're talking about who's most valuable to his team, it's Michael. He's super boy. He is the best talent I think I've ever seen in the NBA. To play this game. He is fantastic. He got a lot of it. Down the right side, they'll go to Michael Jordan. Up top to Oakley. Charles holds her high. Swing it back to Michael Jordan. Angle right. Go to the base. Jump it from 15 over Hanson. It's in and out. The rebound of Big Mark Eaton. Quickly to Stockton. Jazz on the run. Bulls hurrying back to go to open. Bailey. Inside slammer. He hammers it home. Thurl Bailey. Stockton. Perfect assist. Up to Dane. Up top to Brad Sellers from Ohio State. Left side of Jordan. Jordan open at the free throw line. Jumps up. It's good. Mark backs in. Going to take a little jump for this trip. Put it up. No good. He's fouled by the big guy Gilmore. So Gilmore gets his second. Chicago has four team fouls. More from uh, Mark Eaton as far as putting the shots up. Eaton's first free throw is good and all five of the Jazz starters have scored. Dave Corzine has checked in for Gilmore at center. Corzine out of DePaul in Chicago. Second free throw good by Big Mark. Now he's on the board. So Chicago with the lead in the ball. They go to Jordan. Baseline left. Hanson with his hands full. Trying to stay with him. Jordan at 6'6". Six, six. Hanson 6'6". Six, six. Jordan drive the alley. Eaton helps out. Forces him to pass. And we got a foul. Hanson. foul to Hanson. His first jazz third. Uh, Chicago puts it in play to Roy Sparrow. Up top to Oakley. Charles hangs on. Alone right with him defensively. Over on the left side of Pippen, right through his hands and out of bounds. Scotty Pippen, half the court scene, the jumper no good. Rebound Malone, big man. Carl down court to Hanson, swings away from the defender. Right side of Stock for the layup, and he scores it. John Stockton. Nice pass from Hanson. 17-16, Sparrow up top. Swing left to Michael Jordan. Jordan holding it high. Looks in, he'll go low to Oakley. Turn around, jumper over. Malone is up, no good. Carl Malone, a great job on the boards, gets another. Ahead to stop. Stock down the middle. He's got Malone on the right. He goes to Carl. Drive, and score it. Carl Malone at seven points for the mailman. And he did it both uh, ends because that was his seventh rebound of the game that he got to, to trigger that move down the court. Stockton okay. keeping the ball. Looks inside. Nobody there. Up front to Hanson in three-point range. Bobby hit two in the third quarter. Monday inside. Here's Bailey. Score it. Hanson the assist. And Thurl gets his second bucket out of Jazz lead 21 to 18 with three minutes and five seconds left in the opening quarter. Palace in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, with 2.48 left in the quarter. Utah 21. I have the Chicago Bulls 18. Right Hundley with Dave Blackwell. We're back at the South Palace, Chicago with the ball. The Jazz with a three-point lead. First quarter, they go left side of Pippen. He loses the ball, blocked down by Turpin. What do we got? He double dribbled, Jazz basketball. So Utah will put it in play. Averoni to Ricky Green, who's just checked in. All right, Ricky Green, right side, up top to Hanson. Bobby fakes the three-pointer, drive the middle to the angle left. Bounce pass, left corner to Bailey, popping jumper, good. Pearl Bailey with his third bucket of the quarter. Wouldn't it be nice to have Thurl have a big night? ball, guided by Green. Roy Sparrow down to paint the Pippen. We got a foul away from the ball. All right, it's going to be charged to Bob Hanson holding on the play. You know what? Now for Bobby Hanson. Bobby comes out with two fouls. Horace Grant, the big rookie out of Clemson, is in right center. Right, he's at the free throw line. The last yeah. night against the uh, Warriors, uh, Hot Rod, he played 25 minutes, 17 points, hit seven out of eight from the field. Well, and he misses his first free throw here tonight. He'll get another. He's the 10th player selected in the draft overall. Chicago had two first-round picks, and this kid's going to be a good one. That's the word. Second one, no good. On a rebound, grabbed by Thurl Bailey. Jazz by five, and they got the ball. Green, base left to Griff. For the <laughs> jumper, and it's good. A golden grip from the left corner. Triggers his first shot, and he nails it. And Doug Collins wants a 22nd timeout. Now they'll take it. The Jazz lead now 25 to 18 with a minute and 58 left. And here in the first quarter, the Jazz have seven players who have scored. Roy Sparrow works off the horse Grant screen, and now Roney jumps out on Sparrow. They zone trap. Back on the angle left to Grant. He'll go to the base, but Griffith on him on a mismatch. Grant's all out of jumpers too long. Rebound fought up and tipped out of bounds by Brad Sellers, it looked like. Uh, Michael Jordan is not out uh, on the floor right now, and I did hear, Hot Rod, that he wasn't feeling all that good today. Did you hear anything like that? He had a cold. Boy, I'll tell you what, I hope, uh, hopefully he'll be all right. But I'll tell you what, he played like he's in super condition. <laughs> the time he was in there, he got eight points. Well, Chicago yeah. missed, fires on the jump. No, he went up to a jump, yeah. Uh -huh. Brad Sellers from midcourt, right side of Corzine. He hands wisely 
to Pippen. Baseline right, drive in for the layup off the side of the glass. Corzine rebounds, Green strips it away. 48 seconds left in the quarter. Sparrow down low left to Scotty Pippen with Griff on him. Mismatch, he'll lean in. Griff blocks it beautifully. Sparrow, Pippen gets it back, blocked by Bailey. Pippen again, and he scores. Wow, you talk about a first and second effort. How about a third? He got yeah. it home. One like that at Hamburg High, though, in Arkansas. 25-20, Utah. Beer left. Oh. Banker, no good. Oh. Turp's there to tip it in. Mel Turpin becomes the eighth Jazz player to score in the first quarter. Uh, Utah leads 27-20. Shot seconds know. left. Pippen will look for the shot. Backs in on Green. He's all alone. Lean in for the jumper. They don't guard him. That a shot no good. And Turpin rebounds. And the Jazz dodges the bullet on the shot. Yeah, what a very good shot. He had two men on him. And I think it's just kind of a rookie mistake as far as selection. Brad Hundley with Dave Blackwell back at the South Palace. And at the end of the first quarter, the Jazz lead the Chicago Bulls 27 to 20. But Michael Jordan left with uh, three minutes to go in the first quarter, and he is not starting the second quarter. Must have a cold, as you mentioned, and he made four out of five shots in that short time he was in there. Jazz with the ball. We go to the second left quarter. Side of Malone. The mailman out in three-point range to Griff. He'll fake it, drive, good move to the right side, bank it up and score it. One of Daryl Griff's better moves. Yes, and uh, you know, as far as the stats. Rebound Griff. They're all across the court straight away. Rip, look out in traffic. Gets it over to Green in the left corner. Right, that, between the legs, Dribble, he got him fooled. All right, down low to go to Malone. They're doubling to Green. Here's Griff for three-pointers straight away down the barrel. Yes! A goal to Griff. Darryl Griffith with seven points. And a Jazz lead 32 to 12. Grab a Mike Brown and give him a fresh 24 seconds on the clock. And Brown is fouled as he went back up by Mark Eaton, his third. Wow. It's strange that he'd be back in there in this situation, and he gets his third foul. Well, and I mentioned in the first quarter, he should have been, uh, when he hammered Oakley on the head, he should have been uh, called for his third foul. But uh, he's now picked up the third foul early in the second quarter, Eaton leaving and Turpin back in. And as we mentioned, uh, Rod, in the first the middle, pass it under the ground. He walked, they got him, Jazz basketball. Utah playing some fine defense collectively, switching and helping. Yep, uh, Billy Oaks, one of the officials, uh, said that the shot clock went off even before the shot was taken. Pippen lost uh, track of how much time was there. All right, Green, Good front court. off to Sedale, three. Down the right side of Scotty Pippen, right to left of the line, a leap and leaner is good. Pippen, beautiful touch on the jumper, and he has his second buck down. Griff gets it back, goes up, it slips away. Malone tips it under to Bailey, and he scores. Earl Bailey on a beautiful play by Malone as he tipped it over. And the Jazz lead by 10. Right side, Pippen again. Boy, your hands are full with this rookie. He looks for the shot. Down low, they go inside to Brown. He drops it out of bounds, or Grant it is. And Utah will have the ball with a 10-point lead. And Michael Jordan coming back in after uh, sitting out uh, more than five and a half minutes of playing time. That's a little unusual. Jordan, you usually see on the court most of the evening. He'll guard Griffith, and the Jazz have the ball. Mike Jordan is one of the better defensive players in the league, but nobody talks about it. A lot of guys it. like that. But Larry Bird's another one. He'll knock down a pass in the lane. Rick Barry was great at that. Here's Jordan. Drive right side, shot no good, he's fouled. And right, it'll be charged to Turp, his second. Jumping ability and speed and quickness and knowledge. Could play could guard, uh, could guard anybody if he really wanted to. Jordan misses the first, his second one is good. Michael Jordan, he's 86% on the year at the line. He has nine points here tonight. First quarter, they keep going green to Griff. Griff up top. Griffith holds off, back to green. Low oh, to and he and Oakley are really going at it. Here's Turp, man, right side jumper, no good. Left to right to the line for the 15 footer, no good. Rebound to the mailman. Down court to grab by Ricky Green, and he tries to dribble out of traffic, and he's fouled. So Ricky, the smallest man out there, gets the rebound. Out of foul. Tries to Scotty Pippen his first, and that's Chicago's first foul. This the second quarter. Doug Collins said before the game he didn't plan on putting Oakley on Malone because he thought that uh, would take away from Oakley's rebounding because Malone has a tendency to release on the fast break. But uh, they're battling, and I mean to tell you, I thought they were going to get in a fight there just a couple seconds ago. John Paxson checks in for Zadale Threat. Green with the ball. On the angle left to Carl Malone. Back to Green on the left wing. Carl posting up. Green looks into him. Lobs low to the mailman, and over his back, Oakley for the foul. That's his first, Chicago's second. 7.42 left to the half. And that was mild, Rod, compared to that last possession where they were really grasping like uh, sumo wrestlers. Carl was back and in on him, and then Oakley just put both hands in his back and gets the call. That could have been an offensive foul. Green out, here comes Stock. Little John, who had four points in the first quarter and four assists. He's back in the game. Stock to him, down the right side of Griff. Low to Malone, knocked away. Carl gets it back. Base right, turn up, shot blocked, and a foul. Jordan over the back. Made the block. He also gets the foul. And for Michael Jordan, his first, the Jazz, out of Chicago's third team foul. 
But Malone down on the baseline, and Jordan trying to come in from behind. Because Oakley was fronting him, yeah. Yeah, he did. Got the ball, but his hip crashed right into Malone. So Kyle will shoot two. He's one for one tonight. They're three out of four. Poorest free throw shooting team in the NBA, only 67%. Second one good. Kyle maybe has the, eight. Maybe in the Western Hemisphere. 35-25 Utah. Here's Michael Jordan. South ball to dribble right to left with a hippity-hop move. Rip hand checks him. All right, here's Oakley to set the screen. Jordan fake right, go left, running room. Pass it underneath beautifully to Scotty Pippen. He reverses, misses, rebound out. Grab by Chicago's Jordan. Right side jumper, good on the banker. Michael Jordan with 11 points. And I think anybody familiar with Jordan realizes he plays with that tongue hanging out. Very <laughs> unusual. Stockton right side. He's got Paxton beat. Lay it up and score it. John Stockton, what a player. Little John. Lauding to the left and then barreled right and went right by Paxson for the layup. Again to Paxson, back to Pippen to Jordan left side. Michael Jordan right by grip. Jordan right of the middle. Drive it to Paxson up top for a frozen rope jumper, no good. Precision lenses and famous night in service. Right here is Indiana beating Washington tonight by six. That's down the alley. Jordan has it knocked away. And it goes out of bounds. They go back to Chicago. The Jazz had left too early, and they failed to get control of the ball. All right, here's Horace Grant, the big rookie from Clipson. Right corner to Jordan. Drive the base. Whip it back underneath the Grant left side, and he scores. Beautiful play. Horace Grant gets his first two of the game, and Jordan gets the assist. And the Jazz lead 37-29. Stockton and drive. Running room left side. Score it. Little right hand coming in for the left. Stockton with eight points. The little guy does it all. 39-29. Yeah, hey, Paxson does uh, talking to one of his teammates, Brown. Hey, give me a little help on this guy. Here's Jordan, base left. Speaking of help, spins over Griff, bank and score. A little pirouetting move, drove to the base and spun back and seesawed it right up and in. That's 13 Chicago. And Paxson drives on Stockton, blocked by Averroni. To the middle to Stock. Stock works right side, back to Malone. He's there, lay it up, score it. The mailman to the left side. Stockton gets another assist. Out of Jazz, lead by 10. All right, Paxson left to right up top. Paxson, right side angle to Michael Jordan. Jordan right about a grip. Jordan squares, one on one. Fake left, go right to the base, leap and lean. Try to reverse, block down by Bailey. Thurl saves it to the mailman at midcourt right side. Carl to Stockton. Stockton to the layup, trailer to grip. He scores. Slam dunk, Stockton the assist. An incredible play by Long John. Great, great court sense by Stockton. Super. Absolutely marvelous. Timeout, Chicago. Listen to this ovation. For the Utah Jazz, they lead by 12. Five minutes left in the opening half, and Stockton with a dandy to Griff, and he slammed it home. Jazz by 12. 12 point lead. Paxson down that right side of Michael Jordan out of North Carolina. Up top to Stock left to right. Drive the alley. They look to the and Stock scores it. They kept looking for the pass, and Stock laid it in. 10 points for Stockton. He is burning Chicago, 45-33 Utah. Part of the year, he would have to make it. Here's Pippen, right side of Jordan. off of jumper, that's good. Michael Jordan. I thought maybe Stockton should introduce himself to Paxson at halftime, because that'll be the closest they've gotten together. Now Paxson or Averroni tries, but Paxson scores. And Averroni bumped him, but they don't call it. Paxson gets his third, no good. Rebound Michael Jordan. Here come the Chicago Bulls. I'm not sure the shot uh, is what the Jazz wanted. That one. Jordan drive under, leap and lean, reverse it, score it. What a move. He's fouled. Michael Jordan, one of his incredible moves, going to baseline right side, reversed underneath to the left. And Averoni fouled him, and a basket is good. And Jordan has 17 points with a fantastic move. Alley oop, swing it off the glass with English and score. Jordan, a free throw. Yes, Michael has 18 points. He has scored 10 here in the second quarter. On Friday night. Close the uh, five-game homestand. So well, here's Stock, front court left. Stock takes it left to right up top, peels back to the angle left. Malone cuts through, Bailey goes high. They take it to Bailey. Low to Malone, Malone's got it. I believe we got a foul. That could be offense, it will not be. Horace Grant's gonna get this call. Boy, it looked like Malone really shoved him away. Grant gets his first foul, and Chicago has four team fouls. So as Bailey's pass come in, comes in, Malone and Grant bumping bodies, and they call a foul on their young rookie. Stockton up top. That happens every once in a while, doesn't it? <laughs> but Stockton low to Malone right side on the base. Right with him, Oakley. They go back to Stockton. Malone, they double him. Carl fake left, turn right, off balance. Ball blocked away and out of bounds. From behind by Michael Jordan. He does a little bit of it all. Stockton to inbound. The Jazz with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Angle right, he'll walk it up top. Stockton left side of Hanson. Running room left to right to the hoop. Bank it up, won't go, he's fouled. 
A good move. He twisted the ball back to his left hand to put it up, and Horace Grant gets his second foul, and that one puts Chicago in the penalty. One of the better free throwers for the Utah Jazz, which may not be saying a whole lot. He's a free throw shooter. Second one good. So Bobby goes up there and nails a pair. He has four points. And a Jazz lead 47-40. They fight for it. And who's going after it? Jordan in the left corner. Jordan again. Boy, is he tough. Now he's got Stockton on him. Cross court right to Grant. Down the alley. Try to reverse it. Misses it. Follows it. Misses it. Rebound knocked down. Stock headed. And it's knocked out of bounds by Chicago. Jazz ball. Little John hanging in. I guess so. John uh, rose to the occasion. And they love it up in Spokane at Gonzaga. His stock left side. Load him alone, but it's picked right out of the air by Michael Jordan. Wow. Jordan <laughs> front court, right side. Stockton trying to stay with him with a hand check. Jordan comes to the middle. Jordan left side. I go to Scotty Pippen. He'll drive left to right. Banker up. Won't go. He's fouled. Pippen shoots two. Stockton the foul. His first on a jazz are in the penalty with a minute and 52 left to the half. You know, one thing, uh, having Michael on the floor, uh, because he passes the ball so well as uh, Pippen crashed in, but after a good pass from Jordan, Jordan demands that you stay alert out there. Because he'd made a couple of passes in which if you weren't looking, you'd lose your head. Dave Corzine in and coming out of the lineup, Brad Sellers. The report on Jordan a year ago, and this is from Chicago people, was that he didn't pass the ball a lot. Not only because he, he, one big reason, because he didn't have a good pass players to throw yeah, to, yeah. and he had very, very little confidence in his teammates. This year, you can see the difference. He's dishing that ball off. Uh, Pippen misses the first free throw. He'll have another. Darrell Griffith in for the Jazz. Bobby Hanson will come out. Stockton Griffith, Bailey Malone, and Terp. Here's the young rookie from Central Arkansas. He averages 10.8. The second one good. And Scotty Pippen has five points in the first. He tips no good. And Bailey for the foul. And that's not a very smart one. And a penalty over the back. And that just gives Chicago two more free throws. This free throw here, good. And then Horace Grant gets his third point. He's one out of three now at the line in this game. So here's good. a kid that led the ACC in just about everything. Grant for one more. As a collegian, he was a real shot blocker. His second free throw, no good. Rebound to the mailman. He'll lead it off to Stock. Stock front court left. Quarter, 40. Left side, Pippen with a hippity up move. Grip on him, load of Jordan Hall. Oh, oh. Slam dunk. Michael Jordan, he has 20 here well, in the first half. Well, poor Stock got it, ended up one on one with Jordan. What's he going to do? Pippen gets the foul. As Stockton hurries back, so he'll go to the free throw line. There's a rookie mistake, and they're in a penalty with 48 seconds left. Scotty Pippen, second foul. Chicago with 16 fouls. Stockton gambled for the pass and missed a moment ago, and Jordan just slammed it home. Well, he had to gamble. I mean, there's nothing else he could do. I mean, if he didn't get a steal, uh, which he did, he got, uh, you know, Jordan had the easy basket. Stockton's free throw good. He has 11. One more for Little John. 48-44. Jazz with a four-point lead. John has seven of his points here in the quarter. Now eight as he converts the second on a 12-point first half for John Stockton. 49-44 Jazz. Pippen down to Jordan. Look out. Run it out. Oh, my goodness. You talk about a hammer. Oh he was looking down in the basket on that dunk. Michael Jordan with 22 points. Unbelievable. 49-46 Utah. Stockton front court left. Stockton low to grip. Darrell backs in on Pippen. Reverse. Yep. Score it. Counted. He's fouled. Darrell Griffin with 11 points. And a foul charged to the rookie, Scotty Pippen. His third in all of them here in the second quarter. In, you know, Turpin was there. Here comes Michael Jordan. It was just like watching an elevator go up, wasn't it? And, and Turpin wasn't on it. That was about as quick a duck as I've seen, similar to those that Charles Barkley put down here Monday night. I mean, quick. He jumped up and buried up, baby, before you could... Uh, Mentioned his name. Griffith's free throw good. He completes the three-point play. Griff with 12 points, 10 and a quarter. Out of Jazz zone trap. They lead by six. Griff almost steals, but knocks it out of bounds. Jordan. Jordan will hold on. They double him down the right side of Brad Sellers. Cross court left of Paxson. Out of Jordan straight away. They double him. Jordan left side of Paxson. Here's the three-pointer. Looks good. And no good. In and out. The rebound of the mailman. The four and a half is over. Out of Jazz have a halftime lead of six after leading at the end of the first quarter by seven. So the score here at the South Palace in Salt Lake City, Utah, the Jazz with 52 points. Chicago has 22, and the Bulls have 46. Back with our halftime activities right after this. Stock looks into him, takes a low to big mark. Up top to Hanson, fakes the three-pointer. Back right side of Stock, they form the triangle. Low to Eaton, here's a little hook in the paint, and he got it. Mark Eaton gets his first field goal and his fourth point of the game. Well, we mentioned he had averaged 12 and a half points against Chicago last year, but uh, he saw limited playing action in the first half because of three personal fouls. 
Mark tonight without a block shot, and he leads the NBA in that category. Here's Jordan left side. He'll take it left to right. Put double pump. Hanson on him. Leap and leader by Jordan. Good. Michael Jordan, he has Michael 24 Jordan. points. Well, that's a way, tough shot, Rod, when you're going in toward the basket and then delivering it. I mean, it's, it's a really, you got to have a great touch. He has the patented leap and leaner of all time. That's <laughs> what a leap and leaner really is. You leap toward the basket, you're leaning in, and you have a soft touch to deliver the shot. Trying to post up with Hanson on his back, and they go to Jordan. Well, look out. Big left turn right. Here's the corkscrew. It's good. Jordan with 26. 450 Utah. Right side, Stockton, low to Hanson. Double pump. Fall away with a jumper. Jordan right on him, and Bobby misses. Out of rebound on Charles Oakley to Big T. Bailey. He'll low, go low to Malone. Cross the middle. Reach back with the right hand. Score it. The mailman with 12 points. A wild shot. The Jazz converted two at the other end with Malone getting his 12th point. Here's Michael Jordan. Wide right with the ball. Jordan fake right drive in the paint. Eating all over him. Underneath Gilmore, and he scores it easily. Artist Gilmore gets his second bucket. By the Jazz right, leaves up, Hanson breaks high. They got the triangle, Lodi eating another left hook. Again, he hits. Big mark, back to back, 10 footers. Straight and flat as the Kansas Highway, that hook shot. You can hang your wash on that, baby. <laughs> hey, Flood court, packs go with a rebound of Big Mark. Mark hangs on after fumbling the ball, finally clears the stock. Stock front court straight away. Stock to Malone to the hoop. Lay it up softly and score it. Carl Malone going left to right in the paint. Oakley got decked down at the other end. All right, he gets up slowly, and the Bulls take a timeout. A 20 second and they get it for Oakley who comes into the picture for Chicago at their timeout. Did he just get tangled up? I heard him fall. He's but trying I to get see back and down he went. Yeah. Uh, Malone who was out in front of him went all the way for the easy layup. Carl has 14 points and Stockton a perfect left to right feed. Carl had thoughts of dunking then at the last moment underhanded the ball right to bed. Uh, that was very wise. Very wise he did that. Mark Eaton, who was not a factor uh, in the first half, missing all three of his shots from the field with four rebounds uh, because of his three personal fouls. Had the Jazz lead by eight. So we go back to live action. Michael Jordan, front court left, guarded by Hanson. Jordan carries 26 points with him. Ground to base. He's there. Oh. Slam dunk. Jordan sweeping in for the left side. You would think he was going to take a little scoop shot. He reached in and slammed it down. What is he doing quickly, huh? Doctor, low to Bailey, inside, turnaround shot on the glass, no good, he's fouled. So Bailey shoots two and a foul to the big guy Gilmore, his third by uh, Chicago's first of the third quarter. You know, but Barkley puts it up, it's a two-hander, but I mean, Jordan goes by Bobby Hanson, and he puts it up so quickly, and he goes over Eaton and Bailey. And all the while, the tongue, tongue sticking out there like a <laughs> radar. Here's Bailey at the line, and he'll shoot a pair, thorough. First one good. He has nine points in the game. He had four buckets in the other. Big break, drive left. He's got packs and beat. In for the layup. It's no oh. good. Rebound, Carl below. They block it away. We got a foul. Carl will shoot two. Boy, a drive by Stock hung on the iron and rolled off of there. Jordan gets the foul. His second. I thought it was going to go back in. And I, uh, as, as if it was almost uh, tipped away by Malone. But he goes up against Gilmore, and that ball just hangs, but it was coming out. And when, Malone, uh, Malone went up, yeah. And Jordan from behind got him for the foul. So Carl Malone will shoot a pair. As Gilmore did his job, he came over and intimidated Stock just enough to make him miss the driving layup. Uh, then Malone fouled. And Carl's first free throw, good. That's five quick points here in the third quarter for Carl Malone, and he has 15 in the game. Utah with their halftime lead of six. They lead now by six. Uh, one more for the mailman out of Louisiana Tech. And this one's good. So Carl has six to five. Bailey up top to Jordan. Hanson hand check. Jordan crouches low, looks for the drive. Can't find it. Right side of Paxson for the jump. He scores it. So John Paxson, we got it in the family. Here's Bailey. Last squad down by Jordan. Down court, Pippen scores on the play. He has seven points. You see, Bill Sarr was the official rate to call. I tell you, Bill Sarr only calls fouls. Here's Bailey, and there's no foul as he drives in, and it's knocked away. So it's Jazz ball. 63-60 Utah. Wow. Out of the middle to Paxson. Paxson right side angle to Michael Jordan. Jordan holds on. Still holding. They clear it out. One on one for the right side. Jordan fake left to right. Hands on him behind the back dribble. He gets it back. Back to him. Fake. Fall away shot by Jordan. He got it. He did it all. Right to the shot. Right here. He backs away. And Jordan with a gentle push. Puts it home. Jazz by Big Mark. Right, and underneath a good feed to Bailey to Malone and he's fouled. As he turned in, Charles Oakland. Good play by Malone to get open. Yeah, you love it. That's Here's Malone, second one good. He has 17 at, on the night. Carl has scored seven here in the quarter. And the Jazz lead 64, 62. Chicago's Michael Jordan with 30 points. He'll come down that left side with the ball. 
Jordan terminates wide left to the corner to Scotty Pippen. He'll fake left, go right. He's got Bailey totally beat. Play it up and up. No good. Rebound below, knocks it down and out of bounds. Chicago ball unable to handle. So with six minutes and 25 seconds left, Chicago win bound. Scotty Pippen, 6-1 guard when he graduated from Hamburg High School in Arkansas. Oh. Look at him. The ball lobbed under to Michael Jordan on an alley ooper, and he leans in, and he's fouled by Hanson. That's three on Bobby. That's a punchline. He said, no, this is a guy named Scotty Pippen. But then he went to the Loha Classic and was terrific. All-star, won the dunk contest, and everybody said, hey. Well, he's right. Here's Pippen, uh, rather Jordan now for the second after hitting the first. Uh, Michael Jordan adds two free throws. He has 32 points, and he's got a quick 10 here in less than six minutes on the third point straight away. Stock tries to drive. Behind the back dribble, come down the middle. Dish it left side of Bailey. Jump it from 12. Score it. Bailey. Here's Stockton, wide left. Stock left to right off the Malone screen. There's body contact there. Roll out to Malone. Stolen by Jordan. Look out. Stock's back. Jordan teases him. Drive on him right to left. Spin back. Back of the way. On the end of it is the shot. Free throw good by Jordan. He has 33 in the game. Load him alone. Good position. Turn left. Here's the jumper. Good. The mailman with 19. He and Jordan going one-on-one. -on -one. Not guarding one another, but one-on-one -on -one with points here in the third quarter. And the Jazz have the three-point lead, 68-65. I key thing, uh, Oakley has not scored since the first quarter. He's averaging about 16 points a game. They go to Jordan again. Low post right. Turn in over Griffith. Pass under. Beautifully done to Griffith. He scores the bank banker from the left side. High speed by Jordan in traffic. That's nine points for Scotty Pippen. 68-67 Utah. Just under five minutes left, third quarter. They go low to Malone, left side. Foul to stock on the left wing. He'll walk the dribble to the left corner. Out to Griff. Griff in three-point range. Lobs low to Malone. Left side. Turn to the left. Jump it up. Score it. Oh. A mailman. A beautiful touch. He has 21 points. 11 in the quarter. That matches Jordan's total in this the third quarter. That was a low percentage shot, my friend. And he had a little smile on his face as he went down the court. Jordan takes it down low left to Oakley. Blocked by Malone. Out of bounds. Kyle put his hands back quickly on his hips as if like a kid caught with his hands in a cookie jar. And Oakley and Oaks are going at it right now. Oaks the official. Hook it up with the left hand, no good. Rebound, little John. Here's a man that can run the offense. Right side of Griff. Griff fumbles it, picks it up, drive, lay it up, score it. He tried to pass it to Malone coming in that side. He must have played down in Louisville. <laughs> That's a tricky, tricky play. I was surprised he went ball for traveling. <laughs> they did block it or away. Or for illegal use away. of hands. 72-69. Jazz with the lead. Jordan with the ball right side. Jordan drives. Big. He's eating and intimidating, but they get the foul. They charge it to Bailey. Last year averaged 37 points a game, the highest ever by an NBA guard. Second free throw good, 34 points for Michael Jordan. Tavaroni, there's Malone. They look in, they go to him, but it's knocked away and stolen easily by Scottie Pippen. Well, Scottie Pippen overplaying on defense. Made a there's nice a steal. A case where Tavaroni not a threat outside. You can afford to drop back off front and easily double Malone. You want a man that can shoot it with a ball when you want to go in and Malone with a double. 72-70, Utah. Left side, Pippen for the jumper. Score it, Scotty. Pippen with point number 11, six in the third quarter. Pippen. Scotty out on the left side. Bounce it in the left corner to Michael Jordan. Got it back, Griffin. Jordan left to right, pull up, jump it up. Left. That's no good. Eaton grabs the rebound, blocking Gilmore away. Oh, and then he throws it down court, almost picked off. But Green's got it. Green drives the alley. Split the defender, shot blocked. Grab by Malone. He's fouled going up after a good block by Michael Jordan. And then the foul to Jordan on Malone. Well, the Jazz had a little trouble up backcourt there before finally getting it to Green, who stumbled. Looks like he traveled a little bit. And then Jordan came and uh, swatted it away. And then he fouled Malone yeah. by the wrist uh, as Carl went no back. No question up. about that one, yeah. All right, so he checking in, Brad. since the first quarter. Where he had six Ooh, points. Ooh, what's something wrong with Scotty's uh, left leg? Scotty, I mean, left uh, arm, rather. Scotty Pippen is leaving the uh, court with Mark File, who is the uh, trainer for the Chicago Bulls. Malone hits the first free throw, and that's 22 for Carl as Scotty Pippen heads to the locker room. Uh, Malone will have another. The Jazz have the one-point lead. We have a minute. On 17 seconds left here in the third quarter. And Carl hits them both. Malone has 23, and he has scored 13 here in the third quarter. Uh, for Chicago, Jordan has 12 here in the third quarter. John Paxson up top of the ball. They work it to Brad Sellers, to Paxson, to go to Jordan, baseline right. Ripper trying to stay with it. Jordan drives by him, fishing underneath beautifully on the angle left to his teammate, Horace Grant. He scored it. Griffin, another 20-footer straight away, and this one's good. Golden Griff has 16. Just working the clock down. They should go into a regular offense. Green drives, force it down the middle of Malone. He's got it, scores it. Count it, and he's fouled. A mailman with 25. Out of foul to Brad Sellers. What a nice assist by Ricky Green. I thought he was going to take it all away as the 
often does on those shots with only a couple of seconds to go. But he uh, drives the right side. I thought he was going in. And then he just dishes it off to Malone, who's in the paint. And uh, Carl drops it in. And the Jazz have a chance to uh, end the third quarter on a positive note. As Thurl Bailey is ready to check back in. Malone really fired up today with 25 points, 15 here in the third quarter. And with four seconds left, it's 78-76 Jazz. And Malone to shoot. He'll have one. Carl averaging 24.3 tonight, 25. Got a lot of time left. Carl Malone, free throw on the way with a right hand. It's good. So the mailman has 26. Dallas with Michael Jordan and company. Jordan has 34 out of Jazz lead by three. Hear that pip and a dislocated left thumb. Is that what they said? Ooh, it looked like a thumb and they were taking him out. That's not good. Jordan, we have the sleek roadster, the Corvette. The rest of the guys are the bruisers, the Mack trucks. <laughs> right now, you're, you got a Hudson and a DeSoto doing a broadcast for you tonight. You give the trucking firms all credit. The white truck, it could be. All right, the shot no good by the Bulls and the rebound to Eaton. I had the green. Green front court. Friday night as the Jazz close their homestand before going on a three-game road swing. Mike Griff with the ball left side. Up top to Ricky. Down the barrel jumper. From oh, good. Ricky Green. <laughs> and for Ricky, his first two of the game. And it starts the fourth quarter on the right note. The Jazz have a lead of 81-76. Front court left. Pivoty hop move with Green hand checking. Maxim playing well tonight with 12 points. He takes a three-pointer. That's Jazz short. Had pretty well blocked out, but it was a long rebound. So left side, Paxson has it. Low to Jordan. To Paxson. Back to Jordan. Griff always gives a sigh of relief. I bet you every time Jordan <laughs> passes. Here he goes up top to court. He should throw those babies in the garbage. Corzine tries to go underneath. He walks. Jazz basketball. <laughs> All right, Over. Green will inbound. Dave Corzine's got a little uh, silver among the gray there, doesn't he, in his hair? Yeah. He's, yeah. I, 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 when he first played, I think basketball still had laces. All the guys that can't jump in basketball wear air Corzine shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Green to the front court left. Great by Geneva Steele. <laughs> <laughs> Green left to right to the free throw. Maroney. Marcus drives to the base. Double pump. Still holding. To Griffith, right wing. Griff right to left to the paint. Underhand speed from 10 feet. No good. Rebound, Corzine. Outlet to John Green Paxton. on the angle left. The free throw line to Bailey. Quick hopper from 15. He scores it. Earl Bailey, 13 for Big T. He had a Jazz lead by three. And Crow Malone gets set to check. Right left side, Paxson. Up top to Corzine. He'll pull up after one bounce and throw it out of bounds. Jazz ball. Jordan vacated the spot, and Corzine threw it behind him. Well, I, I tell you, yeah, Dave's, Dave's reflexes, hot rod, you and I know this. The reflexes go at a certain, uh, certain time, and he, he almost walked down there, and then he threw the ball away. He'll be making fun because I'll tell you, Corzine has been around this league a long time, and he's a good, steady yep. ball player. And he that's kind of it. unusual of what we just saw down there. That, that happens to players. Jordan just went back door, and he just at the same time started to pass. Scotty Pippen comes back to the Bulls bench with a knife back on his left hand. Dislocated left thumb, we uh, been, lead to under, been led to understand. Right. Eaton, he tried to throw it to Griffith right through his hands and out of bounds. Malone couldn't save it across the court. You got to be careful with a pass like that. Come mark. on, or well, Chicago, you'll have to wait. Roy Sparrow, Stockton's in with Griff for Utah to go. All right, left side front court. Here's Michael Jordan. Jordan left to right. Jordan down the alley. Wide right to Horace Grant. Up top of the lane to Dave Corzine. Left side angle to Roy Sparrow. To the free throw line to Grant. Again to Sparrow left wing. Oh, inside Grant. Go to the hole. Reverse it. Score it. Great move. Not a quick one by the rookie from Clemson. Well, Chicago showed themselves to be very patient on that play. Stock holds it. Low to Bailey left side. Turn in for the little right hook and score. Pearl Bailey with 15 points. Stockton the assist. And there they ran the offense. And they got patiently waited. Stockton in control. The Jazz lead by three. And the clock down to eight minutes left in this game. Michael Jordan left side. Jordan left to right. Jordan down the middle. Right baseline. Open. Horace Grant. No good. And timeout. We have seven minutes and 52 seconds left in the game. All right, the Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan will chalk it over as Thurl Bailey has given Utah an 85-82 lead. Jerry Sloan, the only Bulls player to have his number retired. Old number four hangs high at Chicago Stadium. And now assistant coach of the Jazz. Looked like Obama Shredman trying to lean into that picture there, too. As you see him. Chicago with the ball. The Jazz lead by three. We're in the fourth quarter. Here's a Stockton looks into Malone. They front him. They go to Malone on the angle left. They go to the hoop left side. Bank a jumper. Score it. Carl Malone with a soft touch. And that's 28 for the mailman. That was a real soft touch using the glass, wasn't it? Boy, beautiful. He knew he had it all the way. He dipped that wrist on the way back on the final play to Horace Grant. The rookie from Clemson guarded by Griffin. 
Grant backs him in. He'll take the jumpers. Right. Up and miss it. Eaton has the rebound. To stock back court. Back to Sparrow. Five minutes and 50 seconds left in the game. Corzine's jumper blocked by Eaton and grabbed out of the air by Moo. Carl Malone ahead to Stockton. Stock drives the alley. Lay it up in the left hand. It's good. John Stockton. Oh, what a player. You know, that's about the first time about the last five or six possessions on either end in which it was not a perimeter shot. You know, everybody but both Chicago's been taking, uh, both uh, Utah and Chicago have been shooting from the outside. Stockton took it right down their throat. Villanova, low to Horace Grant. They got Griffith guarding the big guy, and Grant has not been able to really do anything on him. To Sparrow. Even though he has been taking shots, but he's not making it. Sparrow drives him up, left hand layup, no good. Rebound Griffith in traffic. Griff comes out of there down the right side. Griffith. Slows down, behind the back pass to stop. Down the middle, drive it to Malone, power in. He misses, but he's fouled. Uh, Carl Malone will shoot two. Out of foul, charge to Dave Corzine. Well, when Griff goes behind the back and you got a five-point lead, I can see, I can see Layden's knees buckle as if he just got hit by Hagler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Malone will shoot fair. Mad at himself that he missed that shot coming in. Well, I think he's so, well, I think he's so strong in there. He yeah. thinks that he should be able to get away any shot. But uh, of course, he's a pretty good sized guy, and uh, certainly a veteran, a Wiley veteran, an Arnold veterans. Wiley, Michael Jordan back in the game. As Malone hits the free throw, he has 29 points, 14 rebounds for Carl. Having a great game. Uh, we got the clock down to five minutes and three seconds left. Malone. Hands the ball to the ref, says, hey, let's wipe this baby off before I shoot the second one. And they clean the ball for him, and now back to Malone. Carl looking for point number 30. Jordan leads all scores with 34. Malone's free throw, got it. Big, big free throw. 30 points on a seven-point Jazz lead. Well, at 8.15, about a uh, little over three minutes ago, the Jazz led by 1.83-82. Now they have uh, outscored uh, the Bulls 8-2. to two. Here's Jordan. Underneath, beautifully done. Oakley, he's fouled, coming in from the left side. That's uh, Jordan. Got it inside, and a foul to Bailey, his third, and the Jazz third team foul. Well, Jordan is, uh, draws the crowd wherever he goes, no question about that. And uh, Bailey didn't hammer with the foul. Jordan Mike. driving into paint, he got about three guys on him. Oakley double pumped, it was black with a foul, and here's Oakley. He has six points, he got them all in the first quarter. This is his first free throw of the night. And he got it. Charles Oakley. On the year, he's a 71% free throw shooter. Well, I tell you, uh, unless it's us uh, wearing the headsets and everything, this seems like an awfully quiet crowd tonight. Don't you think even when they, you know, send it back on the court, they really seem to be kind of quiet. Oakley makes them both. Charles Oakley has eight points for the Bulls. Here's Stockton back court. The point being that now they seem to be getting into it now. 91-86, Utah. To the left corner to Griff. Low to Malone. They double him. Up top to stock quickly to Griff. They look in. Low to Malone again. Stolen away. This time by Paxson. Ahead to Jordan. Griffith there. Jordan. Oh, he's hit from behind by Malone. Oh, that's that's a oh, that's breakaway good. foul, and the Bulls are going to get it back and could probably, well, they could get to within a point here. That was scary. Yep. Well, well he could have hurt Jordan. Yeah. I mean, he really co-cocked him. Look at Malone come in, and I mean, he took him right into the support of the basket. And uh, Jordan... Why are the fans boy? That was an absolute oh, yeah. obvious breakaway foul. I was frightened just to see it see it developing. I, I tell you, you know that, that's, that's a, a dangerous. It's a dangerous call. And I'll tell you what happened as Jordan is ready to take uh, his first shot, and he makes it. Malone thought that he was fouled down here at the other end, and I do too. And that's why he I, got I think upset. He went over, and sure he gets frustrated. The boy goes down, and he hammers Michael, and that could have been a. I'm surprised Jordan, as he makes his second free throw, I'm surprised Jordan was able to retain his balance and his feet. I'm surprised he, he did. Oh, right. yeah. He stayed on his feet, and he took a hammer. Paxson still with a dribble. Right side over Brad Sellers. Again to Paxson around the horn. Here's the man, Michael Jordan. Ten seconds on the shot. Jordan can't get it. To right side of Paxson. He'll jump it. It's good. It is good. And Chicago's within a point as John Paxson gets his 16th point of the game. Chicago, they can take the lead. Can you believe it? Down court. Here's the man. Jordan spins him. Make it and Chicago leads 92-91. Jordan with 38 points. Timeout, Utah. This one a little late, but the Jazz take it. Three minutes. Tell you what. You gotta get him out of there. Why? Why isn't Hanson in there? I can't figure that. Telling him. I love the man, but we need to make a change. He's getting a little tired too. He's going to the to the corner. Looks in him alone. Can't find him. Now, what do we got? Offense on Malone. What a time to make a silly call like that. 
kind of, that's a call that you generally let go away. That's right, in a pressure game like this and in that kind of a situation, don't make it an awful call like that. Jordan leans in and scores right side. Michael Jordan has 40. And Chicago leads 94-91. Michael gave a little hot dog on that. Chicago leads 94-91. The Jazz facing their second straight loss at home. They go low to Bailey, bad pass, and Chicago picks it off in the corner as Jordan saved it over to his teammate, John Paxson. Oh, down. Boy, I mean, this Chicago team's well coached. Lights out of hands, and they go low to Malone. Turn the end, bank it, easy, score it. He's fouled. Malone with 32. And a foul, charged to the big fella underneath Horace Grant, his third. But Chicago, only their second team foul. Well, Bobby Hanson looking for Malone down under, and uh, Carl moving uh, to the right side quickly. And it was a continuation there, because uh, once he got free of the defender, uh, he had an easy shot, so it was a continuation. The Jazz leading by seven points with five minutes to go. And now they're trying to uh, tie the game with 2-14. Free throw, no good by Malone. And it comes off to the Bulls. 94-93 Chicago. Right side, John Paxson with a ball. Paxson looking for Jordan. They go low to him, and Hanson alert, at least knocks it away, saves it almost. As he tipped it over to Stock, but they stepped on the line, so it's Chicago's ball. 12 seconds on the shot clock for the Bulls. Two minutes and two seconds left in the game. Brad Sellers will inbound. He'll take it right side of Jordan. Two minutes remaining, two minutes. Jordan, fake left to right. They call a foul well, on got 15 foul. Yeah, they got it up. So Billy Sard teaches hand-to-hand -hand combat to the New York Police Department. You know that, so I guess He's he can do anything he wants to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here's Jordan, in a penalty. He makes the first for 41 points. He'll get another. 95-93, Chicago. Second one is good, 42 for Jordan. Take a bounce, pick it up, try to hook it, block for Jordan. We got a foul. Yeah. So Mark Eaton will shoot a pair. Uh, Jordan blocked the hook by Eaton from behind. Had the range to get to it, but he got him on the arm. Boy, nothing good happened. They got it in a mark, and they fumbled it, and then uh, it was blocked. Jazz were lucky to get anything out of this at all as he loses the ball. I don't think it was hit. He gets it back, and then Jordan uh, blocks it, but he must have got it with the body. Well, here's Eaton for the line. And the free throw is good. Good mark. Point number seven. We'll have another. 96-94 Chicago. A minute and 42 seconds left in the game. Mark second one, perfect. Eight points for Eaton. That's a one-point Chicago lead. We're in the Salt Palace with a minute 40 left. Don't go away. Paxson, right side, front court. Right about Stockton. Right corner to Michael Jordan. The Bulls have won seven out of eight on the road. Jordan drives. Stockton steals. Stockton down the middle. Stockton to below. He's got it. Drive. He's fouled. And he swings an elbow at John Paxson. Now they have to separate him. Here's a technical on Malone. He lost his head again. Look at Malone. He should get it. He's just trying to hit him with an elbow. Paxson trying to hit him. Paxson grabbed him around the neck right. as he went in there. D double technical, right? Yep, that's a technical on Malone. He was off. <laughs> no, but I, I'm saying I think that he was in a Paxson and uh, Malone uh, talk a little bit to one another. So I guess they're not kicking Carl out. It's just a single technical. Here's Jordan to shoot the technical free throw. It's good. Michael Jordan with 43 points. And Chicago leads by two. Now at the other end, Malone gets two. He'll have to make them both to tie with a minute and 24 seconds left in the game. And everybody on their feet here at the Salt Palace. What a finish. He's made 10 tonight. And he has 32 points. Uh, his first one is up and good pressure 33 for the mailman he'll shoot another this to tie 11 out of 14 for Carl Malone 97 96 Chicago so Carl with the extended right foot has the hoop but he misses it off the back of the iron. Rebound, Bailey almost got it, but it's tipped over and grabbed by Horace Grant. And the Jazz, again, the poorest free throw shooting team. Boy, how many games that's hurt them. Uh, right here, another one. All right, here's Jordan, front court left. Pulls by one. Jordan left to right, running room. He backs it out as Hanson quickly caught up. Jordan backs it out right side, six seconds on the shot clock. Jordan will shoot it, base right, he's open. Here's the jumper, goodbye. 
Again, nobody there, and Jordan just sitting there wide open for the shot. Well, Hanson went down. I don't know whether he got caught with an elbow or not, but just before that, Jordan waved away Sellers. A little isolation. Inside right, here's a jumper. Malone, no good. Rebound to Chicago, and the Bulls on their way to another win. They lead by three, and they have the ball. Front court to Paxson. Malone dies running by. Why do that? Get on the D. They go to Paxson. Back to Jordan. Let's play defense. Don't foul. Here's Jordan right side. Cross court to Paxson. Five seconds for shot. He puts it in the He ices it. That should do it. John Paxson. He has 19. And the Bulls lead by six on their way to their eighth road victory in nine games. Wow. What a. This Chicago team is tough. Timeout, Utah. 32 seconds left. Chicago 102, Utah 96. Oh, Hammer the glass. Rebound to Baylor. He scores. Big T followed it on the second effort. 17 for Thurl Baylor. Well, Chicago okay. staying away. Chicago on their way to their eighth win and nine road games, and they'll be 12 and 3 after this baby. Paxson, eight seconds left. To Jordan, six seconds. And they foul him with six seconds left with a four point lead. Uh, Michael, free throw, good. Well, I'll tell you, that's extraordinary hot rod, an 8-1 record on the road. Uh, you bet. At, at 12 and 3 With overall. two young rookies playing a lot of time. That's right. That's what, he did that's what he did last night at Golden State, too. Jordan gets them both. He has 47. So, now the Jazz are coming up with the old six-point basket. Yeah. And, but it really has not uh, affected the people here who are heading out. Uh, actually, it was uh, pretty crowded around the Salt Palace tonight with the uh, Festival of Trees and the game here tonight. I, I thought I'd go and check out a spruce Skip. or something. Averoni, Griffith will take the three-pointer. They let him have it. And he scores it. Griffith, the Jazz down three. Darrell Griffith has 19. So they need another three-pointer. And Chicago takes a timeout. And we got three seconds left in the game. Now it's 104 to 101, Chicago. Didn't put them away. Let's, let's right, seven point. Actually, happened. it was a seven-point lead right with five minutes to go in the game. And couldn't hold it. Yep. All right, Oakley. Misses, the game's over. It's Bailey rebound. So Chicago, the winner, on a final score. The Chicago Bulls, 105, on the Utah Jazz with Mike, uh, rather with Carl Malone getting 33, the Jazz 101. We'll be back with a recap following this timeout. They always play. Oh, no, that was a good play. That was a good call. They're booing the refs, yeah. Should have thrown them out of the game. I'm dead serious. On the air, why didn't you say that? On the air, you said I thought he was just trying to, to ward him off. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not talking about the Paxton one. I'm talking about the uh, crashing and the Jordan down here. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. No, 